Taking in the pristine Borneo rainforest is unfortunately very much an endangered experience. The promise of quick profits from cutting it down and selling the wood has outweighed the international calls for preservation. That is in most areas except the small state of Brunei. The oil-rich sultanate has been busy extracting its natural resources from under the ground, leaving the forests above untouched. I started a one-day tour on the Bandasari port side, waiting for a small ferry to take me on a 45-minute speedboat ride through a maze of waterways, along the mouth of the Sungai River, out into Brunei Bay, before tracking back deep into the forest. The speedboat pulled up in a small town where I was transferred to a car and then back onto a small river, this time in a wobbly longboat picking its way against a rushing current. My guide Brian explains what happened next. And then I will walk up about 385 meters from the river level, approximately about 800 above uh, stairs, yeah, minimum 800 stairs going up to the canopy. And once we reach to, uh, towards the top of the hill, we'll climb a canopy tower, which is uh, sort of like a scarf holding, uh, about 42 meters tall. And then uh, going up uh, just to have a view of the valley around. So it's a good way to enjoy uh, rainforest because uh, a lot of people want to come here just to connect with the nature. It's hard to explain both the pain of the physical exertion it takes to get up the steps and onto the platform and the joy of looking out across untouched rainforest as far as the eye can see while catching your breath. The canopy walk is short but spectacular. I took as much time as a guide would allow me. There's only two people allowed on one section at a time and this being one of only two tourist destinations in the country means there's a steady stream of visitors lining up for the walk. After climbing back down I had an hour to explore the forest on foot. The Ulu Ulu Resort has two paths but I decided to miss out on the official trail and walk along a small stream that opens up to a waterfall. Cutting through the forest can be hard work but gives every day tripper a quick insight into the excitement of jungle exploration. The resort has rooms for those who wish to stay longer, and if I was to visit again I would recommend an overnight stay to allow time to take in the rainforest. A night stay also allows you the chance to catch the dawn chorus and a misty view of sunrise from the canopy. For me, it was lunch and then back onto the longboat for the long trip home. If you come to Brunei, make sure you include at least a day in the rainforest. It's undoubtedly the country's greatest attraction. And as Brian kept reminding me, the perfect place to relax. It's a good place for them to come and really connect with nature because a lot of people are stressed in works and everything. So it's just, it's just a good place to escape from all the stress of the city and just uh, rejuvenate. This is DJ Clark in Bandaseri, Brunei, for China Daily.